Welcome to the induction meeting, which is being organized by IGNU Regional Center Kuchin for the Jan January 2023 admission cycle learners. First, we'll just have a look of how to study with IGNU. In this, we will be just brushing about uh, certain aspects which you have to uh, know as a distance learner and more so in the new normal situation where the university is moving ahead to make the hybrid integration of face-to-face -face and online learning uh, as per the ODL regulations of the NEP 2020 prescribed. The objectives and features of IGNU are to promote the educational well-being of the community. It has a wide range of academic programs at affordable cost. It has flexibility in terms of place, place and duration of study. And it, uh, it has been recognized as a center of excellence in distance education by the Commonwealth of Learning. It has the award of excellence for uh, distance education material by Commonwealth of Learning in 1999. The UNESCO has declared in IGNU as the largest institution of higher learning in the world in 2010. And it has the largest network of learner, learning support system. And IGNU has been accredited with A++ by NAC in 2021. And when you want to study with IGNU, first you should remember the deadlines. The deadlines are prescribed for each of the activities and it is also unique for each of the program. And you should know the rules prescribing, uh, prescribed for each course of study. Should know the prerequisites. For example, submission of assignment response is a prerequisite for writing the term and examination. And so also the uh, submission of uh, the exam form is also a prerequisite for appearing in the term and examination. And there is independent learning, meaning only you have to decide of when you have to learn and how you have to learn in the, for uh, the successful completion of the program. And uh, more so, we will be more accustomed to, uh, uh, to the synonym of uh, uh, mother cat taking the small kitten around wherever in the uh, studies throughout we engage. Whereas in distance learning, it is more like the small monkey clinging to the mother monkey. And, uh, and the, the uh, effort of the mother uh, monkey is very less when it comes to the, uh, the, the learning process or the effort put by the small uh, monkey. And here I will say that the more you involve in the learning process, the independent learning and the self-faced learning will come into uh, your uh, module or the practice so that the access into the program of study will lead to successful completion of the program. And please do the self-check exercises while studying the study material and attend the online theory counseling. Do the assignment questions after studying. We have given the uh, link also where the assignment questions will be available. And also the old question papers are also available in the IGNU website. So the, the sample questions of how we will be asked and uh, in the term and examination can also be previewed by uh, going to the downloads and accessing the old question paper. Uh, having listened to how, how to study with IGNU, now it's time to listen to the significance of enrollment number, the difference between fresh admission and re-registration, the minimum and maximum period of study made available at IGNU by Madam Sujini Babu. Over to Madam, please. Uh, a very warm good morning to one and all. I'm Sujini Babu. Uh, today, I'll be sharing some details on significance of enrollment number allotted to you by the university, difference between fresh admission and re-registration, minimum and maximum period of study, that is, validity of your registration. So I will start with significance of enrollment number allotted to you by the university. So let's check what is your enrollment number, where you can find your enrollment number. Let, uh, let me explain. 
once uh, once you submit your online application form for admission and your admission is confirmed you will be allotted with a unique number which is the enrollment number now uh, the enrollment number has 10 digits the university identify the student by the enrollment number therefore it is while you communicate with the university regarding your program enrollment number is mentioned in your university identity card which can be downloaded from igno website now what is the difference between fresh admission and re registration uh, when you register igno for the first time either first semester or first year for any program is on offer is called fresh admission whereas re registration is when you register for your second semester second year after a, after an year or a semester it is not mandatory that you have to complete all components of your first year or first semester for re registering for your second year or second semester university has made it convenient to the student to take fresh admission and also take re registration to online from the igno website www.igno.ac.it now uh, i will explain the maximum period to complete the program uh, it indicate the validity of your registration each program offered by the university has its maxi minimum and maximum period of study to facilitate flexible way it is very important that the learner is very well aware of the validity period of your uh, registration there were instances like the student submitting the project report assignments or dissertation after uh, expiry of the validity of registration and the result of the same will be withheld by the university so there is no point in submitting your uh, uh, project report or assignment after the validity period of your registration to know your registration validity you may visit the university website uh, www.techno.ac.it so dear friends hope you all have got an idea about your program enrollment number and validity of your registration uh, that brings me to the end of my session thank you all next i request sir dr l chandrashekharan uh, ps of rc coaching to deliver a brief about igno rc coaching infrastructure and facilities at uh, learner support centers over to chandrashekharan sir thank you sujini i welcome and congratulate everyone who have chosen igno for their studies now let me present about the regional center coaching and the facilities at lss igno regional center coaching was established in the year of 1988 on 17th november and later on during 2009 regional center trivandrum was established and 2011 in 2011 regional center vadagara was established uh, bifurcating regional center coaching till then it, it was catering to the entire state of kerala now the regional center coaching caters to six districts of kerala ernakulam thrissur palakkad kottayam idikki alappuzha and the union territory of lakshadweep and regional center coaching has two buildings one is old block and the other one is new block the old block has four storied building and it was inaugurated in the year 2010 and it houses the regional center the gyanwani fm radio station computer labs classrooms conference rooms guest room and recreation center also library the second six story building was inaugurated in the year 2016 and houses the regional evaluation center the study center uh, sc14000 and the study material warehouse and if you see the regional center coaching is located in a prominent location and it is conveniently accessible from any mode of transport 
Regional Centre Kochi is very near to Kalur Metro Station and the Kalur Private Bus Stand, which is adjacent to the Metro Station. So it is very walkable, uh, very nearby and walkable distance only. Also, Regional Centre Kochi can be accessed from Ernakulam North Railway Station, Ernakulam Junction, and the KSRT Bus Terminus for those students who are traveling from other neighboring districts. And students can use our website. That is, IGNO has two types of websites. One is main website, which caters to all the common learners. The other website is a regional center website, which caters to the particular regional center, that is regional center specific. And the main website is www.igno.ac.in. This is IGNO's main website. And IGNO Regional Center Cochin website is http double slash rc coaching dot igno dot ac dot in. This is Regional Center Cochin website. And facilities available at the main website is we can see now. The main website from the main website, learners can download their ID card, prospectus study materials of their program, assignment question papers, program guide, old question papers, exam date sheet, checking validity of their registration, etc. This can be done only through the main website, IGNO's main website, which is www.igno.ac.in. And also, from the IGNO main website, learners can do admission, which you have already done, and re-registration. There is a difference between admission and re-registration, which will be explained by Dr. Prasida in the next uh, during the next session. And exam form submission, revaluation, convocation, convocation registration. These are all can be done through IGNO main website. And learners can check their exam results, assignment marks study center change, whether it has happened, if some learners request for study center change, whether it has, has been changed or not, they can check from the IGNO main website. And address, like that, address change and uh, study material dispatch status also can be seen, checked from the IGNO main website. And now learners can use the regional center's website for the following things. One, they can download induction guidelines, brochures, newsletters, counseling schedules. And learners can also submit soft copy of their assignments through the regional center website. They can get information from the regional center website, like study centers, which are all activated for programs, particular programs, and where all it is located, and their address, contact details, etc and learners can also get information regarding whom to contact for what at study center regional center as well as headquarters further facebook live session schedule counseling schedules practical exam details internship project drive hour schedules etc can be downloaded and you can access the information through the regional center website and for the benefit of the learners Ignore Regional Center Cochin has a Facebook page which is given in the slide. Again, for the learners of benefit, Ignore Regional Center Cochin has a YouTube channel as well where you can get the most of our uh, recorded counseling sessions and induction program sessions. And further, for the benefit of Learners, our regional uh, learners, ignore regional center coaching as Twitter account, which can be seen from this slide. Now let us see the facilities available at the learner support center. Learners are provided academic support mostly, mainly at the learner support centers only, like academic counseling. Whatever program you have chosen, 
for the academic support you have to approach the learner support center which you might have chosen or we might have allotted and till february 2020 we had face to face mode of counseling only but currently integration of online virtual mode and face to face mode depending upon the students and we conduct sessions and all these recorded sessions are available in the igno regional centers youtube channel the address of which we have seen in our earlier slides and learner support center you will have facilities to have the lab courses practical counseling sessions lab courses and attendance for this is compulsory and whatever services you want to academically academic services whatever you want to avail you have to be in touch with the learner support center of yours and at the learner support center learners are expected to submit their uh, assignments either in person or they can submit their assignments through the website and learners are advised to collect the evaluated assignment response from the lscs so that you can use the tutor comments for preparation of the examinations and learner support centers will provide you the guidance on the project internship field work workshop etc and term end examinations mostly will be at the identified lscs only not all lscs are examination centers so it will be specifically identified for the purpose it will be held there. and practical examinations also will be held at the learner support center only and further let me add some more important points which are beyond the purview of my topic do remember your enrollment number keep a soft copy of your id in your mobile because you are known by your enrollment number only not by your name so always whenever you get in touch with the university you write your enrollment number first then your name and your mobile number your address etc etc program code etc otherwise without which we cannot serve you better <coughs> and always keep your address mobile number email etc updated because igno has everything online so you can do it at your place from your place you can do it because everything is online and every one of you must be having the android phone so that you can do online thing. because we also university side we send all communication through uh, either mobile or email only so keep everything updated and be thorough with your program guide whether you uh, go through the prospectus or not this program guide you should be thorough with because this will be your holy book until you complete the program and be familiar with igno website because everything is available in our igno website only and you we request you to visit frequently so that any updates will reach you on time and we have two website as i earlier i said one is igno main website the other one is rc website be aware of whom to contact for what because unless you know whom to contact for your grievance you will not get your grievances settled so you must be aware of whom to contact for what and many uh, support services are provided by learner support centers certain support services are provided by regional centers and few services are provided by igno headquarters so you must be aware of where to contact for what and with this i wish you all to complete the program successfully and realize your dream of your life thank you over to dr prasida madam thank you sir thank you sir for your
uh, vivid presentation about the IGNO website as well as the Regional Center Cochin website. I welcome all the dear students of the January 2023 admission cycle. Uh, so till now, you would have heard about the enrollment number, what's your program code, course code, and about the uh, information pertaining to the Regional Center Cochin website and IGNO website. So my presentation would be about to inform the learners about IGNO study materials, the fee refund uh, for uh, the special clientele, which is available, that is a scholarship, prerequisites, and uh, the multiple entry and multiple exit for the bachelor programs. IGNO study materials, as you must be knowing, uh, IGNO has received the award for excellence for distance education materials by Commonwealth of Learning in the year 1999. IGNO study materials are basically available in two forms. One is a soft copy form, another is in the hard copy form. The soft copy form is, uh, in the, uh, is available in the eGyan Kosh link available on the IGNO website. So those students who would have opted for the soft cop uh, copy of the study material would have got a discount of 50% in their program fee. And this would have been, deduct, uh, this would have been uh, done at the time of their admission. The hard copy of the study materials uh, is being dispatched by the materials production division at IGNO headquarters, Delhi. And those who have uh, not received the hard copy can start studying using the soft copy of the study materials. Each, uh, if you go through the study materials of IGNO, each uh, program, as you understand, uh, would have one or more courses. Like you would have various subjects uh, to study under your program. Like for a certificate program, maybe you would have four subjects to study. So in IGNO terminology, the subjects are called courses. And the courses are made of, like in one subject, you would have to study maybe three books or maybe four books. So each book uh, is called, uh, each course is made up of blocks. That is each course, uh, like supposing if uh, you are course code is M MP MPC 112, it would have... Uh, three books to study. So that is called, the books are called as blocks. And the blocks, if you, if you go through one of the books, uh, you can go through it. The chapterization is called as units. In ICNO terminology, each chapter is called a unit. At the end of each unit, uh, you will have a self-check exercise summary and unit and questions so that this will enable you to do well in your examinations. So now how you can uh, download the study materials from eGyan Kosh? Kindly go to the IGNO website, click on the eGyan Kosh link, which is available on the IGNO website. And this page, which is given on the screen, will open. Once this open, you can go to the top repository search window and you, could, you can type the relevant course code, with, of the, the soft copy of the relevant course codes, uh, which you want to search. And you can click on it and you can download the same. Similarly, uh, for the respective blocks also, you can click on the respective links which is given under the list of items and you can open and download the study material. IGNO study materials are also available on the IGNO e-content app. Any Android enabled phone can download the IGNO e-content app and you can also view the soft copy of the study materials in the convenience of your mobile phone. But this applies only to those mobiles which have an Android application installed and may not be applicable for the iPhones. Similarly, because we are receiving a lot of queries pertaining to the status of the study materials, you can check uh, the status of your study materials uh, through the IGNO website. The link is also given on uh, like each HTTP IGNO AC dot IN IGNO slash about IGNO division MPTD slash material. So once you click on this link, the screen as shown in the presentation will open. So you can very well see that the January 2023 uh, link is already available. So students who have not received the study materials can check uh, the status of the study material through the available link and thus can know about the uh, status of their study materials. But I would request all your learners who have not 
received the hard copy of the study materials to kindly start study using the soft copy of the study materials for every program there is also a program a guide which is available so the program guide also you can download uh, in the e gyan kosh link and you can start studying first but please refer the program guide of your program next i would be talking about the fee refund for the special clientele uh, so there are the various scholarship schemes which are available for the igno learners one is the direct benefit scheme second is the kerala state government scholarship third is the minority scholarship scheme and fourth is the scholarship for differently abled for the direct benefit scheme the students would have already availed of this benefit at the time of their admission and uh, to the igno program this direct benefit scheme is basically uh, available for the sc st students wherein uh, at the time of admission for certain programs like certificate diploma and ug programs this direct benefit scheme is available for sc as well as st students wherein they have to upload their caste certificate also they have to give an undertaking of not working anywhere and they can avail this direct benefit scheme sc st students next is the kerala state government scholarship uh, scheme the scholarship form can also be downloaded or this hard copy of the scholarship form is also available at, at igno regional center uh, office or you can also collect the hard copy from the social welfare department so you have to fill up the form and you have to enclose all your details relevant details like your igno id card your caste certificate and your income certificate and other details and you have to submit it at igno regional center kochen and it usually takes around 6 to 8 months to get the scholarship and the scholarship is uh, settled only through the neft settlement further you we have the national scholarship portal which has been uh, launched by the government of india that is www.nsp.gov.in there are various scholarship schemes which are available on the national scholarship portal so igno students can select whichever scheme which is applicable to them minority and can opt for this minority scholarship scheme as well then we have the national handicap finance and development corporation that is the uh, nhfdc uh, portal also this portal is specially for the scholarship for differently able learners so those uh, who are differently able learners they can apply for the scholarship under various schemes uh, in in this website that is the www.nhfdc.nic.in and avail of the scholarship facility <laughs> so uh, this was all about study materials and about the scholarship schemes which are available for the igno learners now i would also like to highlight one of the major changes which has come recently that is about the multiple entry and multiple exit for the bachelor level programs uh, and in igno uh, if you take admission to any undergraduate program this facility is available specially for Uh, ba general program ba bcom g program bsc g program and bca program of igno and this uh, scheme is applicable from july 2022 admission cycle onwards so under this uh, multiple entry and multiple exit scheme uh, after completion of the first year of study at the ug level an undergraduate certificate would be awarded after completion of 2 years that is four semesters of your study if it is for a semester based program like bca at the ug level undergraduate diploma would be awarded but after completion of 3 years of study you would be definitely getting a bachelor's degree uh, awarded so basically uh, this scheme is very much beneficial for those students uh, who usually take admission to a bachelor's degree but are unable to complete it due to some various reasons so even if you are unable to complete it even after if you have completed after first year also you would be awarded an undergraduate certificate and if you complete two years you would be awarded an undergraduate diploma so this scheme is very much beneficial for those students who are applying for the ug level programs especially for the bcom g bsc g and bca program of igno so this was all which i wanted to share about study materials 
scholarship and the multiple entry and multiple exit programs of IGNO. Now, next, I would like to invite Dr. V. T. Jalaja Kumari, Assistant Regional Director, to kindly delve upon the topic of online counseling session and project internship fieldwork journals and practical record. I warmly welcome her to this session. Thank you, Dr. Prasida. Now, uh, I once again welcome all the IGNU learners for this important session. And uh, I'm sure that you will be eagerly waiting for uh, hearing about academic counseling sessions because academic counseling sessions are one of the most important component in your IGNU learning. First, I have to tell you what is academic counseling. You are, you are uh, studying in regular mode some, for some programs and uh, somewhere uh, familiar with the open distance learning methods or open distance learning strategy of uh, um, studies. Here, a teacher will be there, but the teacher is not uh, sharing all the lessons or all the content as per the uh, lessons given in the study materials in a specific mode, but instead in open distance learning, teachers are helping students to solve their issues and their studies for a well going of their learning teaching activity. So academic counselors, highly qualified, experienced, empaneled means the teachers who are working in some other institutions, they are approved by IGNU headquarters school and these empaneled academic counselors are providing you counseling sessions. So as the word tells, counseling sessions are a help hand for you to uh, go through your studies. We are providing counseling sessions in two modes. In the new normal situation, we are providing online counseling sessions also along with face-to-face -face mode. As per the standard operation procedure of Indira Gandhi National Open University. From the July 2022 session onwards, we are providing face-to-face -face and online modes uh, for programs, for all the programs activated. Face-to-face -face programs uh, for the particular programs in which students have enrolled more than 200 will be given 60% means in face-to-face -face mode and the rest of the 40 percentage will be given in online mode. That means in a particular session for a particular program, if there are students more than 200, face-to-face -face sessions uh, will be given 60 percentage. We will be asking about uh, what is this 60 percentage means as per university norms, there are a certain number of sessions for each program for counseling sessions. Among that counseling sessions provided by the university, 60% will be through face-to-face -face mode and 40% will be through uh, online mode. For the rest of the programs, which are uh, which has enrollment number enrollment uh, less than 200, will be provided in online mode only. And counseling sessions are generally given by the study centers where you are attached with. For some particular programs, Council, uh, students are allotted, students are attached with the regional center itself with a code 1400. So the programs which are not activated in an LSE, the support services, especially the counseling sessions are provided by the regional center itself through this uh, 1400 study center. Now, I'll be telling about online counseling sessions, how we are, uh, you know, how face-to-face -face is provided, but online counseling sessions we are providing through a, an online platform. Sometimes it will be uh, Google Meet and uh, another uh, platforms will also be used as per the convenience of the uh, regional center. Means, um, um, you know, your students are available, aware of the many available online uh, platforms. Now, usually we are giving through Google Meet. And this online counseling sessions uh, are provided individually by LSEs or in a club mode. Means one LSE can give you online counseling session. And as per the uh, 
a consideration of many other matters, means number of students and other convenience of academic counselors' availability. Regional center can decide uh, how to conduct this online counseling sessions, either in uh, one uh, study center itself or by clubbing different study centers together. Then the maximum number of students can uh, be benefited through that sessions. So as per the uh, different uh, aspects to be considered, we are deciding individual mode and club uh, mode for providing on online counseling sessions. Then you will be thinking about how we will know at what time, when, uh, in which mode or through which link these counseling sessions are provided. We will let you know through uh, email, sometimes uh, through SMS also by, but now uh, we are providing the counseling sessions currently through email. So Dr. Chandrasekharan was telling you to be in touch with all the uh, online provisions, e-support provisions you are uh, getting means uh, you are familiar with the you Igno know, website. At the same time, your email ID, your phone number and uh, whatever other details you have given to Igno you know, at the time of admission should be in an active mode. Sometimes students may tell us uh, we didn't know about the examination, we didn't know about the counseling sessions, etc. You may please be alert uh, to visit your email frequently. Frequently means on day base, it is very good, I think, because all the communications we are nowadays giving through email. That will be there. Uh, no way it will be deleted or uh, if we are uh, deliberately delete, then only it will go. Otherwise, that will be there. It's a safe mode also. You can use it, read it again and again. So it is a safe mode. Now, at the time of online counseling sessions, students should be very much serious. You may consider it as very serious uh, matter. Means some ethics will be there. Because uh, earlier uh, in a, uh, a particular dress code, so many other things are there for visiting our classes, for going to school and colleges. But you know, online more students may be a little bit free. Mentally, they will be a little bit free that I'm sitting at home, I'm engaged with some other things. But uh, being a serious learner, uh, it has to be considered as an official matter. So um, in a very well manner, you have to sit in the classes of online, even if it is a, an, a synchronized model. But you sit there. At any time, uh, you can open your video and you can communicate with the teacher as per the directions given by the academic counselor because at uh, that time only you can clear your doubts with your teacher at the same time there is chat provision you know it nowadays every student everyone is uh, familiar with the online modes so there is the provision of chat there is the provision of uh, presentation etc so you can ask your questions through uh, the chat box and at the same time um, you can put your attendance during this session in the chat box. And the Excel sheet, uh, inbuilt Excel sheet is there. And we can take the attendance of the learners there. So all these provisions may be utilized by the student in a serious mode. And uh, we are recording the classes. All the counseling sessions are recorded. So uh, this learner etiquette is very important. And uh, this recorded classes will be uploaded in the YouTube channel of Regional Center Kochi. So this will be referred further by other students, sometimes from other states also, it will be referred. So in a good mode, in a good way, good manner, this has to be utilized. This is what uh, one request from outside. And then, Madam Prasida, another uh, strategy also used for online counseling. This is channel based, not like uh, online counseling. This is channel based counseling. Channel based counseling, from the name, you can understand that these sessions are given through a channel. And particularly, it has to be highlighted that these classes are given in regional language Malayalam. Because IGNU is a national coordinator for Swamprapa DTH channel, it is uh, under Ministry of Education. Uh, Igno is coordinating Swayam Prabha channel in uh, four channels, number 17, 18, and 19, so 17, 18, 19, and 20, in which we are providing Malayalam 
medium classes. Malayala media, you know, doesn't have medium of Malayala, but for the convenience of the learners and for um, uh, impacting or implementing a flexibility mode for the learner or the uh, effectiveness of learning, we are providing counseling sessions for DAG programs, not for all the programs. It is for BA general programs, choice based uh, credit system is there. The programs which are under CBCS means choice based credit system. So these counseling sessions are provided as a policy of uh, NEP 2020 uh, by the government of India. And these sessions are, I already told you, all these sessions are provided in uh, Malayalam language. We have actually uh, 13 languages through 13 languages in, um, uh, Ministry of Education is providing or the government of India is providing this channel based counseling sessions. And uh, one is our language that is Malayalam and IGNO Regional Center Coaching is the Nodra office for providing channel based counseling for all the two other regional centers also that has been already given by our uh, Chadar Shekhar sir that uh, Vadagari is there. Rwanda is there. For all these three regional centers, Cochin is the nodal office for providing channel based counseling sessions. And this is live program. Even though it is archived in the Soyam uh, archive, this classes will be available, but it will be very nice if you are uh, watching the programs, watching the sessions live uh, broadcasted every uh, week, Monday to Friday from 3.50 p.m. to 4.50 p.m. means one hour program it is. Now, after the counseling sessions, the other components uh, uh, which are providing, which are facilitating the uh, learning activities of IGNU students are project, internship, field work, and uh, practicals. So for all these uh, project, internship, field work, uh, practicals, there are reports. Sometimes it are, they are, we are calling it project reports, dissertation, internship reports, field work uh, um, journals like that. I'll tell you some of the examples for MAPC program. MAPC, MA in psychology. It has practical component, internship and project. And the uh, MSW, uh, C and MSW, uh, normal MSW is there, MSW counseling special programs are there for them. Field work is there, uh, practicals are there. For MSC DFSM program, for that also, practical is there, internship is there, project is there. So many programs like a BCA and MCA. MCA has practicals and project. So this way, BCA is also having. This way, many programs have these components like project, internship, field work, and the other practicals. So before doing all this, you may please visit E. Gyan Ghosh. Several times it was referred. E. Gyan Ghosh was referred several times by Dr. Prasida regarding uh, materials, study materials, uh, downloading of study materials, etc. Now, I think uh, you are uh, familiar with the terminology that this E. Gyan Ghosh. So visit the E. Gyan Ghosh through the link given here. And you can download the practical manuals or the student handbook regarding all these internship, fieldwork, project, etc. and practicals. So only through, uh, only by using all these documents. Dr. Chandrasekharan was telling about program guide. So program guide is giving you a whole uh, a holistic vision or the holistic outlook about your program. But this uh, handbook, student handbook is giving you particularly or specifically for these components I have told. So go through it, read it thoroughly, then only you can start your uh, works. But the project work is a compulsory work, it, uh, field work is also compulsory. All these com components are compulsory and uh, for them, especially practicals, 100% of your attendance is essential. Counseling sessions, if uh, you have any difficulty to attend the counseling session, you can go through the recorded sessions again. But for practicals, you are, um, it is practicals are, now we are conducting all the practicals in face-to-face -face mode and you can present in the sessions physically 
and that is compulsory also that attendance is compulsory otherwise you cannot attend the practical examinations and like that the internship field work etc has to be sub, uh, submitted at the uh, places uh, where it is directed by uh, the directed in the handbook the concerned schools and the school board is deciding where to present means some records have to be submitted at regional center some are at uh, um, student evaluation division some are at the study center so where it has to be submitted that you check or study through going through the uh, supporting documents provided in the egan course namely student handbook for each program that is uh, one of the important matter regarding this thing and now other components are also there for your assessment so theory is there theory examination is there uh, theory assignment is there practicals and practicums face to face practical sessions will be there so internal and external marks will be allotted for all these components in addition to that we have assignments then external examination etc dr prasida next slide please so the internal the other internal assessment uh, components assignment and very important examination and then the final thing convocation will be addressed by dr s v jayarakhwan ard and sir jayarakhwan sir you are welcome and over to you sir thank you madam thank you, thank you so much. yeah so good afternoon to all of you uh, uh, today i am going to talk about the internal assessment at igno examination and the convocation related matters so internal assessment is a heart of the system in the distant education uh, mode so we have the uh, internal assessment by using the assignments the assignments uh, need to be submitted by the learner before the attainment examination each course having one assignment that should be handwritten by the candidate and it will be submitted uh, uh, through online or at the concerned study center where the student has admitted uh, for the particular program so assignment response submission uh, they can submit by post to the uh, uh, the concerned study center or i already told that it can be submitted through, through the online mode so we are giving the assignment submission link in the igno rc coaching website so candidate or requester uh, to submit that assignments through the online so uh, these assignments we are having 30% of weightage 100 marks uh, 70% for uh, uh, theory examination remaining 30% of marks which is for the assignments so what is the process uh, for the evaluation uh, suppose you are submitting the assignment through the online portal it will come to the regional, regional center and we are separating the assignments uh, study center wise and then we are forwarding to the assignment to the concerned uh, study center uh, for evaluation by the approved academic counselors so that will be evaluated by our academic counselors at study centers and then the award can be entered by the study center uh, through the online portal then validation will be done by the regional center it is a regional center work so in case the particular program is not available or activated or uh, that uh, approved academic counselor is not available in the particular uh, particular study center the students are requested to submit the assignment hard copy to the regional center by post and we will send the uh, the concern assignment to the new delhi our schools for evaluation of the assignments so so i i have already told that before uh, uh, writing the terminate examination the student are requested to submit the one assignment uh, per course so that is a very important things and then we can see that uh, examination so examination uh, it is we are conducting june terminate examination at december uh, a uh, terminate examination annually two times we are conducting the terminate examination so the terminate examination candidate or requester to submit through the uh, online 
so that is available in the igno website uh, for the course theory examination 200 per course and practical uh, and project up to four credit course 300 per course above four credit, uh, credit rupee is a 500 per course so this is uh, through the online the candidate able to submit the uh, examination form so that the examination uh, form submission the detail uh, the uh, candidate are requested to see the our igno websites so it will be available and hall ticket also they can be able to download uh, from the igno website for the tenth bond examination so next we can see that uh, convocation the successfully completed candidate the convocation will be conducted at the regional center at a uh, regional center uh, convocation ceremony so the candidate able to receive the uh, degree certificate uh, in presence uh, in at the convocation ceremony in absent ya yeah, they can collect the degree from the igno regional center coachings it is available uh, per certificate 600 uh, price grip uh, the amount to be pay, paid by the dd in case they are collecting from the regional center uh, or already they register in the convocation link they are not necessary to pay the fees at the regional center and uh, i already told that rupees 600 per certificate to be paid through the online mode so the candidate those are not received the degree certificate uh, in the convocation ceremony they are requested to collect the a degree certificate from the regional center it is available at regional center so those qualified and successfully completed candidate only can able to get the degree from the igro regional center office so that is the thing thank you thank you very much uh, now i request uh, uh, our regional director dr js doradi uh, to present life skill for a distance learner so thank you distance learner the life skill for a distance learner is very important in that uh, it helps you to adapt and have a positive behavior uh, to deal with the demands and challenges of everyday life in the sphere of learning so first i would like to share what is this world health organization has defined life skill it has the ability for adaptive and positive behavior that enable individuals to deal effectively with the demands and challenges of everyday life the life skill for a distance learner or this uh, well, listed to uh, to have a small gist of what it means to be the honesty taking one day at a time persistence expression of interest steadfastness and peer interaction when it comes to honesty as a life skill for a distance learner honesty is expected amidst the peers to the authority to one's own self being genuine in relationship actually when you are away from the institution and from the peers and also from the faculty who wrote the study material many a time we look for peer learning and when, whether we learn meet a learner at the study center or at the regional center or at the examination center we tend to develop first as a learner and then of mutual benefit at this time only we got to be genuine in our relationship and when it comes to admitting faults your honesty is expected and not to have blame game and no suppression or oppression because it's a heterogeneous learners who are coming to study uh, at ignu and also openness in having a discussion and aiming at a solution rather than uh, defending of who is right and who is not right and then take it one day at a time i would say you have to have a time management yes we we have a specific time to check our whatsapp message we have a specific time to refresh ourselves we have a specific time for uh, uh, the vacation also and then why not for a time management for study and please take uh, one day at a time and do not worry about that to tomorrow 
especially when it comes to fulfilling the prerequisites. Many a time it will look like that the, pre, the uh, when you are fulfilling the prerequisite that the tomorrow may seem to be a distance dream. When it comes to, for example, writing, when you are about to submit the application form for the term and examination, the opportunities for you to get leave or to move a place where your exam center is there to write the examination will be a distance dream. But still, please fulfill your prerequisite without worrying about tomorrow. And take one task at a time or one step at a time or one day at a time for the aspects related to your study. And always remember that little drops makes a mighty ocean even in the sphere of studying. So the uniqueness of studying is that you cannot listen to music and study or you cannot listen to uh, somebody's conversation in the, in the room next uh, and do your assignment response. It is not possible. So you have to have a clear cut uh, space and also a time to study. And remember, friends, that all problems, including studies, have a pro related problems have a solution. And be bold to take the process targeting at a solution rather than uh, t telling who is wrong and who is correct. And do at least something related to your study in a day. And persistence, next life skill, is that do not give up. Many a time at the verge of uh, coming near to the goal point, we give up. Yes, there are challenges amidst your uh, social commitments, your personal commitment, your health commitments, your employment commitments, and your personal individual challenges, uh, the physiological, the emotional, and the spiritual commitments which you have, also ha makes you to have less time for studying. And this less time of how you utilize matters a lot. And uh, the always we should remember that before giving up, it is over only when I give up. So you remember this statement and then you do not give up. You procrastinate giving up. Maybe you will reach the uh, goal. And let it the, it, the studying is like slow cycling. So you have to be steady at the same, even though you are slow. but Still, the matter, the effort matters. The little effort matters in studying, and be optimistic of seeing what is possible as a result of studying. What are the spin-off benefits you will have, and the view the hurdles as stepping stones, and uh, the expression of interest. Please express yourself. Be genuine, and do not threaten or link with your job profile. At the help desk, also be polite, even when you have a complaint also and that you are right. And what is expressed verbally should be able to give in writing. That when you are expressing yourself, your expression of interest limit to those things which you can express verbally and then but you and the, at the same time you are willing to give it in writing. So do not say anything which you cannot give it in writing. And then inclusive and integrated classroom exists at IGNU, meaning whether it irrespective of what is your challenges uh, and your differently ableness, you can opt to be integrated or inclusive in the classroom subject to that you can independently handle yourself. And uh, so if you are a differently able person and you need assistance. Please be very open to ask for assistance. And anybody helping you should be notified to the e-learner support center or the examination center so that when they intervene in your affairs, it is taken in the right sense. The nature call is uh, mandatory. And please know where the toilet is. Anyone who, uh, who is there in the premises, whether it is learner support center or regional center or examination center can help you uh, uh, for this purpose. And also I ensure privacy by closing the door because many times the complaint also comes uh, at that stage. So, and it is, it, it is a courtesy which expects you to leave the toilet clean for the next person to use also. 
that also is a life skill which uh, we uh, uh, share during this induction meeting and we also the personal hygiene uh, there is no store specifically to get uh, the personal hygiene products like diaper and pad at a regional center or at LSE. And so you it is expected that you bring the, the necessary items or related to your personal hygiene products with you. And also we request to exercise the element of discretion, especially in cases where you have to be stretched beyond the last date to be accommodated for submission of assignment response. And if there is a special need or a medical need, please be informed uh, that you bring along the medicines or you need a uh, certain special assistance uh, for moving one place to the other. That also should be brought at your uh, expense so that you are not left uh, unhelped in those aspects. And we know uh, the best of what is our physiological need and what is our physical status. So please bring a spare dress and let your dress be suitable to your physiological condition. And the ability of you to uh, move around in that attire also matters when it comes to uh, being you being uh, comfortable at the learner support center or the examination center or regional center. The next is steadfastness. Please have the determination to complete. As I shared, do not give up. And it is over only when you give up. And have a dedication. Many times uh, we will be uh, listening uh, to other music and then read a newspaper. We will be reading newspaper and we'll be look, uh, overhearing what is the conversation in the next room. But that is not possible with studying. So have, be dedicated and sacrifice some leisure time activity because always the educational benefit or the educational uh, the uh, earnings will give you spin-off benefits. And it may, sometimes it will be a diving board for you to climb up the career ladder also. And please have the commitment to do the best in all, in, even in the small uh, work which you are taking it up. And focus on the spin of benefits so that uh, you are aware of what is the benefit this particular degree or the certificate or the diploma will yield you. And peer interaction. Peer interaction is necessity in distance learning. And do not join peer who are demanding or threatening or who are organizing informal groups while you are there at the learner support center or exam center. And do not join peer who oppress or suppress others. Because it is a heterogeneous, um, the, uh, the, what do you say, the populace of students. You will have a large number of learners who are young, the middle age, and also at times the elderly people also coming to study and so it is uh, the material is built as with teacher inbuilt material using the course team approach and uh, once you read the material you can understand of what is the content which is being transacted so amidst this situation when you are having peer interaction to have uh, enhance the learning process uh, do not join peer who initiate unrest. Many a time we'll see that people who initiate unrest won't be in the venue when people are uh, being recorded or booked. Only those who have joined it at later stage with the mob mentality will be caught. So what is your purpose of coming to distance education? Yes, sometimes your leadership skill will be enhanced. Sometimes your collaborative team approach will be enhanced. Sometimes how you are able to nurture your study will be enhanced. But be cautious of whom you are associating. As even at distance teaching institution, we do not have any confidential profile of individual learner. So what we are hearing is the life skill of the learner. Now it's time to have a sum up by Dr. Prasita Umitish. Uh, 
thank you, Dr. Dorothy, madam. Uh, so uh, our dear learners would have got a brief idea till now about how to uh, go about uh, to do their program at IGNO for successful completion. So let me, uh, whatever you have heard so far, let me sum it up as a checklist for all of you so that uh, it is easy for you to understand what you have heard till now. So the first and foremost is you should be knowing your uh, 10 digit enrollment number. Now, when I say 10 digit enrollment number, do not confuse it with your control number. Control number is only used till the time your admission is confirmed. Once your admission is confirmed and you receive the confirmatory e email, uh, the enrollment number is the number which should be quoted by you in all your correspondence with IGNO Regional Center Coaching or with the study center. Because we have cases where students write their control number while submitting the assignments, uh, then it is very difficult. Maybe your marks may not come. So please remember there is a difference between a control number and enrollment number. Control number is used only till the time your admission is confirmed. After that, till the time you complete your program, you should be using your 10-digit enrollment number, your program code, and course code. Further, whenever you send any query, either to regional center coaching or to your study center, always enclose your IGNO ID card, or you should specifically write your enrollment number, program code, and course code. The next thing which is very, very important is please check your registration details because many a times the students are unaware as to what the maximum validity period of the program is, what are the subjects which they have opted for in the first year. Uh, so please check your registration details and the registration details are available under student zone. Please go to admissions and then uh, and then click on the registration details to know your details. Also, uh, you may know that every program has a minimum and maximum duration. Like the certificate program, the minimum duration is six months. Maximum duration, you can complete it in two years. For a bachelor's level program, the minimum duration is... Uh, uh, three years and the maximum duration is six years and for the master's level program the minimum duration is two years and maximum duration is four years so the students who are taking admission should be aware about their maximum validity period of the program so that they can adjust uh, their time and schedule accordingly to successfully complete their program for any change in the name address phone number please write to Regional Center Cochin at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in. And always while sending an email, please make it a point to write your name, your enrollment number, your program code, or you may also enclose your IGNO ID card as a proof so that we can serve you better in this regard. Your ID card. Your IGNO ID card is a very, very important document because this uh, the ID card has to be throughout uh, uh, with you till the time you complete your program with IGNO, whether it is writing your examinations, whether it, whether it is um, uh, submitting your project, your viva versa, you're attending the viva versa, or if you're attending the convocation, or even after the convocation for getting your degree certificate, your IGNO ID card is very, very important. So please, uh, for the January 2023 admission cycle students, kindly download your ID card from the student portal, or you can also enter your username and password and download your ID card. In case there is some issues or you're unable to download the ID card, please write to us at rccochin at the rate ignore.ac.in and we would definitely download and send it back to you. Next is the hard copy of the study materials. The hard copy of the study materials are being dispatched presently by MPTD. So in case the students have not received, please check your study material status uh, through the link which is available on the IGNO website. So one thing which I would like to very much highlight here is every program has a program guide. The program guide is a basic guide which guides you to the successful completion of your program. Hence, please refer your program guide nicely and kindly go through it very nicely, uh, very uh, more point by point so that you get to understand the nitty gritties of your program which you have registered. 
Next is you should also be knowing the name of your study, uh, study center, its code, address, email ID, and contact number for any support services pertaining to your uh, pertaining to your submission of assignments, how to uh, write your assignments, submission of uh, uh, getting uh, necessary information pertaining to the program, you need to contact your study center. The study center details are already available on the regional center coaching website, rccoaching.igno.ac.in. Please visit our RC coaching website in case you are not knowing your study center, its code, address, or email ID. Next is re-registration. Supposing you are a student of undergraduate program, BAG program of IGNO, you have paid fees for the first year of your program. So learners who are admitted to the uh, sec two or three years program of IGNO need to re-register for the second semester or the second year online. So supposing you are an undergraduate student, uh, you need to re-register uh, maybe in the month of October, uh, or November when the link for the, you need to re-register uh, in the next January 2024 admission cycle for your second year or third year program. So that is a very important information. Next, the students who have taken admission for the UG programs like BA, BCom and BSc change of electives is not possible and this is not possible with the July 2019 admission session. Also, the assignment questions have to be downloaded from the IGNO website and the assignments have to be submitted at the study center only in your own handwriting, either through hard copy or soft copy as per the link which is available on the regional center coaching website. Next is the thermic examination forms. So supposing you are a student of January 2023 admission cycle of graduation, you have to submit your uh, term and examination form maybe in the month of October or November if you want to write your exam first year examinations uh, in the month of December, especially for certificate and SEM based program students like certificate diploma, uh, certificate and uh, semester based programs like MBA, MCA and BCA. Uh, the the date for submission of term and examination application is right now. The last date is. 15th of April for students uh, who want to submit their want to write their examinations in June 2023. They need to apply for the examination right now. 15th April is the last date. So especially this information is for students of the certificate semester based programs, especially BCA, MCA, and all certificate level programs. Next, the old question papers can be downloaded from the IGNO website under Student Zone. And the provisional certificate, once you complete your program, the provisional certificate and grade card is directly sent by the Student Evaluation Division, SED IGNO Headquarter, Delhi. Because we have various queries uh, which we receive even on IGRAM, our grievance register portal, pertaining to the dispatch of provisional certificate and grade card. So this is directly sent by SCD IGNO headquarter. Once your grade card gets updated, it usually takes around 45 days to two months for the dispatch of the certificate at the registered address of the student. Uh, so whatever information uh, was shared has been shared to you as a checklist. This checklist is also available in the soft copy in the form of induction guidelines. And our induction video will also be uploaded on the uh, YouTube channel of RC Coaching. And you can also access this uh, induction video through this Facebook live session. Uh, request all to kindly go through the induction guidelines. We have uploaded the induction latest induction guidelines for the students of January 2023 admission cycle on the Regional Center Coaching website. Request all learners who are listening to this to please download the guidelines and go through it thoroughly as this will give you an idea to on how you can complete your program successfully from IGNO. Next is a very, very important information on how you can download your ID card. Your ID card can be downloaded from the admission portal using the username and password. And the downloaded ID card is a password protect 
protected PDF format. Uh, once you enter the enrollment, your enrollment number is only the password to open the file because we received queries even asking as to how we can open the file. Your enrollment number uh, is your password to open the PDF format. Next, the students who have taken admission in the uh, in the January 2020. Uh, Three admission cycle can also download the student ID card from the student portal. The link is igno.samarth.edu.in. HTTPS igno.samarth.edu.in. So you can download your ID card uh, from this portal also. That is HTTPS igno.samarth.edu.in. So uh, we come to an end of this session. And I'm sure after uh, hearing this session, you would have got a basic idea on how you can complete your program from successfully from IGNO. IGNO means self-motivation. And I'm sure all learners have the self-motivation is the key to be being an IGNO learner. Uh, with this self-motivation, I'm sure all dear learners would be able to complete their program successfully from IGNO. Uh, wishing you the very best in all your future endeavors and hoping that you complete your program successfully from IGNO. So once again, I would like to thank you all for patiently hearing to us uh, throughout this induction meeting. And now next, I would also like to thank our regional director, Dr. J.S. Dorothy Madam, under whose guidance and leadership this induction meeting is, is being held. I would also like to thank all my dear colleagues and staff at Regional Center Cochin, especially who are the resource persons for this session, uh, Ms. Uh, Sujini Babu, Dr. L. Chandrasekhar, uh, Dr. V. T. Jalja Kumari, Dr. S. Vichay Raghavan, and all uh, other staff for their support and cooperation in conduction of this induction meeting. I would also like to thank our technical team, uh, uh, Sri Mohammed Ansar, and Ms. Reshma, who have helped in transmitting this program uh, through Facebook Live, uh, especially. And thank you all for your time and efforts. I would also like to thank our coordinators and program in charges of all LSCs who are also viewing this session and for the support extended to all our students of IGNO. Once again, I would come to a close, uh, to a close of the session and thank you all for patiently listening to us. Thank you.